played some of probably the best darts he's played all year. Um, he's a good old campaigner. You know he's going to be a tough competitor, but he is up against one of the rawest talents in the game. And I have to say, a person that I tipped on Friday, I believe. Yeah. So if yes, you're watching through your bookmakers and you took my bit of advice <laughs> there, you uh, can hedge your bets here and uh, your quids in. Yes, you uh, did best out of the tipping competition in the commentary box, that's for sure. But it's been another fantastic tournament and really the field's been wide open, hasn't it, really? Well, people might turn around and say, you know, Phil Taylor's not here, Barney's not here, Van Gogh's not here. You know, that, that doesn't matter. The standard is so close now, even with those here. You, you know, we still may have these same people in the final. We have seen six different winners in the first six European Tour events, and we're going to see a seventh different name on the European Tour roster for 2014 as Michael Smith hits his first 180 of the match. Well, in the semi-finals, Mervyn King found it hard with the range. He doesn't have to go to 12, so he's just going to set it up as Michael Smith. Yeah, Mervyn found the range a little bit difficult, wasn't he? He had a lot of his darts just go lower the target. So it'd be interesting to see if that happens again. So an early chance to break for Michael Smith. But he doesn't he take it, and Mervyn King steps Mervyn. in to Seven take the first Mervyn. leg of this final. It's still first to six legs, as you can see on your screen there. The format still the same as it's been all weekend. Well, the one thing that Mervyn King has been very good at all weekend, you know, and we use the word punish, but he has been punishing people and... You know, straight away, Michael, three clear darts at tops. Mervyn comes in with a big score just to put a bit of pressure on and tap him on the shoulder and, and then ends up winning the leg. And that double 16, you know, we say when a, a player's hitting a certain double a lot, it's at the end of his fingertips. And certainly that double 16 ain't far off the end of Mervyn King's fingertips. In terms of the head-to-head -head between these two, it's 5-1 to Mervyn, but most of those meetings going back a few years to 2010, but if you're a believer in any of this sort of uh, stuff, the last meeting between these two was this year in Germany, the German Masters in Berlin, and Michael won that game 6-5 in the second round. Well, this would really hurt. It would be a break of throw, so now treble 17, and he wants the bullseye now for Mervyn King. Oh, how close was that? A massive chance gone. Now Michael Smith, the 32. He's already missed three darts, a double top in the first leg to break King, and he's gone and missed three darts in the second leg. And as we said, Mervyn King has been very good at punishing people for their mistakes. Double eight then, four, two now, and yes. As you say, if you allow a player of Mervyn King's quality and experience in, he will step up and say thank you very much. Not a bad start to the third leg for Mervyn King. He stands 2-0 up, one break of throw up. 45. And certainly now he can start to sense something special. 100. And it is about time Mervyn King broke his European Tour duck, reaching the final in Veldhoven, Holland 100. earlier this year, beaten by Michael Van Gerwen. And reaching two finals last year, here, as I mentioned, losing to Simon, uh, Steve Beaton. 
and also reaching the uh, final in Austria in June of last year where Michael van Gerwen did for him again. Well, Mervyn doesn't have to go the bullseye route, so... Yeah, he's just checking Michael Smith's score, so... Treble 10, just going to set it up. If Michael Smith would have been on a the shot, then Mervyn would have gone the 12 bullseye route, but leaves his favourite 32. Now, he's taken the doubles out under pressure in the first two legs. Now, there's no real pressure on him here. Can he take it out? Uh, just the wrong side of the bed there, wanting the double eight, but snuck into the double 16. So another chance then for three nil. Double 16. No score. Oh, well. And a chance to step in here, but Mervyn, uh, but uh, Michael not taking it. And Mervyn then again for the third time of asking, looking at double 16. Double eight. That's a good markup. Yeah, and he does slide it in that time. Uh, a 21 dart leg, but the most important thing is that leg score. And Michael Smith just needs to be careful here, doesn't he? That it doesn't run away from him. We saw Mervyn King whitewash Robert Thornton in the first quarter final of the evening. Yes, Michael Smith just stopped finding the treble 20s, making it quite comfortable for Mervyn King to go 3-0 up. But King is one of those players, when he can smell the finishing line, he knows how to get over it, proven over a number of years to be a quality dart player. Yeah, Michael hit 11 one forces in his semi-final win over... Stephen Bunting. 16. And averaged 102.1, seeing off Gary Anderson in the third round. 58. But uh, the big scores and the big out shots just eluding Michael Smith at the moment. And 100. Mervyn King will just carry on going about his business. And working his way towards victory. Well, that Michael Smith really putting pressure on this 145. Oh, you don't see Mervyn King <laughs> do that very often. But this will stop the rot, get his first leg on the board. But he's got to hit it. Man, that's a great guy. It should come just off the barrel. Yeah, it's exactly what he's done. It's just caught the barrel coming in and bounced in the double ten. That's meant from these players. And that will maybe just relax Michael a bit. He's got a leg on the board now and can start working his way back into the game. And with Mike uh, Mervyn just only hitting 66 there at the start of the fifth leg. 54. Oh, there we have the averages. Mervyn King won't care if he goes on to win this or no. Michael Smith, what the average is in the final, they're absolutely irrelevant. It is all about winning. And £20,000 richer, one of these players will walk away. Mervyn King, we've mentioned, has reached numerous finals. He's, he's won numerous titles, six well, ranking titles with the PDC. So he's been there, done it. He knows how to get the job done in big finals. 99. 58. 
And Michael Smith has already done it at youth level, world youth champion. And uh, 55. also reaching a couple of finals this year in the UK Open qualifiers and a players' championship final. King unable to take the 153, so Michael Smith comes back to break the throw of Mervyn King. Going for the 17s, now an 18. And a double top that served him so well in the semi finals has served him well again. It's got him back in the game, and Mervyn King will be a little bit angry with himself. That was only an 18 dart leg, so King threw first and threw 18 darts and not had a dart at a double. Yes, and after racing to a 3-0 lead, Michael Smith's now starting to produce some of the darts which, is, which have helped get him to this final. Another leg is kicked off with a maximum. We see Simon Whitlock have a dart at double 15 for the nine darter earlier on today. Been a great crowd here over the three days, isn't it? And there's still got plenty of voice <laughs> for both players in the final. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure it'll be just the same. And they're expecting another bumper crowd in Leipzig for the 8th European Tour event from the 19th to the 21st of uh, September. So just a fortnight's time. A few tickets still available, I'm told. Have a look at the pdc-europe.tv website. All the info. Fifty-four. So Mervyn will be back for a break of throw to go four-two up if he can take out seventy-two. Well, again, Smith has not pressured this leg. Mervyn King now double six to break the throw straight back and he double six it is. Six and again, Michael Smith has thrown 15 darts and more. still wants well over 100. I mean, he's just not finding the treble 20 as he has four for the last three days. The matches he's played today, Gary Anderson, Adrian Lewis, he had to find the treble against them and he's just aloof in the final. And whatever happens, win or lose, I've said, you know, he's won a World Youth Final, he's reached other finals, but for, for a, a player at the start of his career, it, it's all good experience, and it? it's all just air miles, you know, miles on the clock of getting the experience of getting to a major final and trying to turn it on on the day to win titles. Well, when you've got the ability to, you know, take the game to, you know, the Gary Andersons and the Adrian Lewises and the Mervyn Kings, then you know, you know you're on board. You know, you know you're here for the long stretch. He's got the ability. The more experience he gets, the better he will get. In the area where he probably just needs to tighten up, it's like the first two legs. Three darts in leg one, three darts in leg two, and Mervyn King walks away two nil up. So to immediately uh, break back, he wants the bullseye. For this then to go to within a leg of victory. He wants double 12. Again, Smith is in a position where he can't afford to miss. Needs the double 10. He's opted that way because the double 10 has been good to him. And it certainly was again there. So he's got the break back straight away. The last three legs all going against the throw. Sixteen. 
And we mentioned the crowd still in good voice. Uh, that won't affect Mervyn King. We did see a, a shot side on of Mervyn with his earplugs in. Like uh, Justin Pipe wearing the earplugs on stage to block out the noise and any distractions. Yes, there's a few players that are starting to wear the earplugs now, and a lot of them, when they're practicing, listen to their own type of music. As Michael Smith puts in a 180 to leave double 14 to level this final up at four at peace. And Michael kicked off with a 180 at the start of the very first leg of this final. And that's only his second, but what a time to get it. Double seven now, and gets double seven, so we are all square at four apiece, and it's effectively now best of three match to decide the winner of this European Grand Prix. Yes, you're right, the best of three game, and Mervyn King will throw twice in those three legs. And this is a strong start to leg nine from the King. £8,000 to the runner-up, £20,000 to the winner. I know you're going up on stage to do, do the honours as part of the presentation party, Rod. Yes, another little job that oh. I've, uh, <laughs> I've acquired. Well, this for a 1 2 1 out shot. And to go to the one leg of victory. Another quality out shot from Mervyn King. Yeah, 12 dart leg, is, it literally takes Michael Smith straight out of the equation of breaking in there. And now on the verge, and that's two in. That's all three. Another leg starts with a maximum. And that's exactly what Mervyn King wants to do. He wants to finish it here and now. He doesn't want to go to the last leg because anything can happen. He's got the throw, needs to find another treble. Well, we've seen plenty of close games right the way through the last three days. Admittedly, one or two uh, one-sided games as well, but the final certainly is living up to its billing. Of being a, another close match that we all wanted to see. He wants double top for a 1-1-4. One, one, another great out shot. And this then, the deciding leg, Mervyn King with the darts. He needs to make the advantage of throwing first count. Great pick off there on the Trevor 19s. Well, I think it's only fitting, Mike, that we see this final go to the last leg. But Mervyn King in his semi-final to the blistering last leg. And certainly has kicked off the first six darts. And really has put the pressure on Michael, but he needs to fill it up. He's got to have another treble. A straight ton is just not going to be enough if he's to win this final. He's going to have to rely on Mervyn King. Missing himself. And that's exactly what he's done. And that 1-2-1 one, one out shot for 5-4 from Mervyn, followed by 
114 checkout from Michael to take it into a decider has got the fans on their feet. The two biggest outshots of the match coming in the last two legs. And it is King down to another three figure outshot for the match. And he will have time. He's got six from stars, here. Mike, hasn't he? And he's going to need the six as well. 75. Left his favourite 32 to win his first European Championship. Mervyn King, double 16. The man from Norfolk lining up for double 16 for the match. Oh, no score. Well, is there another twist in this European Darts Grand Prix final? Michael Smith steps up he wants double top for the match and that was well wide the pressure just getting to the youngster and there is Mervyn King stepping up for double 16 Michael Smith knows he had the chance but he will be back I'm sure for many more finals the young man from St Helens but it's Mervyn King his first European title, the sixth, seventh different winner of a European Tour event in 2014. Many thanks to Rod Harrington. He's making his way onto the stage for the presentations. Thanks to Dan Dawson and Justin Pipe in the commentary box this weekend. To Dave Allen from the PDC press office for all his snippets of information. The guys from Darts in Motion for providing the sound and pictures in fantastic style again. We will be back in a fortnight's time from Leipzig and next live stream the German Darts Trophy from the 19th to the 21st of September. Keep an eye on the PDC website for all the details of where you can watch that stream. We will hear a few words from the finalists. They served up a fantastic final, a fitting finale to a fantastic weekend of darts here in Sindelfingen. And I will sign off and we will hear from the finalists and have a look at the trophy presentations on stage here. Here's your MC Elmar Polka for the final time this weekend. 2014. Was war das für ein Finale? Noch mal einen großen Applaus für Mervyn King und Michael Smith. Wir kommen damit zur Siegerehrung. Und zu dieser Siegerehrung darf ich hier oben auf der Bühne begrüßen die ehemalige Nummer 1 der PDC, der PDC-Director Rod Harrington. Und außerdem den Gründer, den Erfinder der PDC Europe, der das hier alles auf die Beine stellt, Werner von Moltke. Runner up und damit geht das Preisgeld in Höhe von 8000 Pfund an ihn ist der Bully Boy Michael Smith. Michael, I know once you're in the final, you, you want the trophy, you want the big trophy. But you played a great tournament. You beat, you beat Gary, you beat Adrian Lewis, you beat Stephen Bunting. That, that was a great, a great weekend for you. Uh, I had some good wins, but it means nothing now because I lost the tournament. I come to win. I don't come to be running up in tournaments. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother turning up. I want to be a champion. I want to be a winner. And <laughs> cheers. Quite, quite a bit. Like I said, I beat all them please, but it means nothing now. I go in the runner-up and not a champion. Thanks for coming to Silverfingen. Michael Smith, der ist natürlich enttäuscht. Er sagt, ich will einer sein, der diese Trophäen gewinnt, der als Champion dasteht. Ich glaube, er wird das nach ein paar Stunden vielleicht auch ein bisschen entspannter sehen. Winner des European Darts Grand Prix 2014 ist The King, Marvin King.
Und damit geht ein Preisgeld in Höhe von 20.000 Pfund an ihn. Sein siebter Pro-Tour-Erfolg in seiner Karriere. Marvin, congratulations. Your fourth European Tour Final. You deserved it. That's, that's a great weekend for you. I worked really hard, you know. Um, <laughs> um, if I told you I'd practiced the whole of August, I'd be lying, because I haven't. Um, you know, I, I thought I needed a break, and I took one. I took the whole of the month off. Um, I felt as though it was too much. I, I, I was burning myself out. I just needed a break. I've had a break, and it's come back, and, and this has happened. So, um, all I'm going to say is, if you think you're burning yourself out, take a break. It might work out well. <laughs> Congratulations, Mervyn King. Also er sagt, dieser Erfolg, der kommt nach einer Phase, wo er einfach mal gesagt hat, es geht gar nicht mehr. Ich brauche mal eine Pause von anderthalb Monaten. Und die hat er sich genommen, er, der eigentlich immer wieder an das Dartboard geht, der so viel trainiert. Das war offensichtlich die richtige Entscheidung, mit der er jetzt diesen Titel hier beim European Dance Grand Prix für sich entscheiden konnte. Nochmal einen Applaus an die beiden Finalisten. Die Möglichkeit, jetzt auch das Foto zu machen.